Hello, I'm Mark Miodovnik. I'm at the UCL Institute of Making. This is where I work. And this is our materials library, which we've been building for 10 years. And it's just full of stuff. So why? Why collect stuff? It seems crazy and study it and work out how it works. Well, here is an example. Here's a coffee cup. It looks mundane, quite nice perhaps. Weirdly orange though, don't you think? Weirdly orange. Turns out you're right. <laughs> that orange is uranium. And this is a radioactive cup. So things, some things have hidden secrets which you wouldn't know otherwise. And here's another material. Well, this looks really boring. This is a piece of steel. It's really heavy. And you think, wow, yawn. But no, this is, this is the stuff of revolution. This is what created our modern world. The industrial revolution is all based around this. The machine age. This has stories to tell. And then here's another material that seems mundane. Again, you think, oh, concrete. Why would I be interested in that? But this is very special concrete. This is self-healing concrete. So when this cracks, it heals itself. So actually with the science of concrete, we're, we're actually challenging that boundary between the animate and inanimate. And that's where a lot of materials research is going these days. And then here's another example. Look, here's a material that sort of defies your expectations. You can't really work out what it is. It's shiny, but it's not a metal. It's too light. You search for a reason for what it can be, and then you realize it's silicon. This is the stuff of our computer chips. This is what makes our computers tick, our mobile phones tick. Yeah, this, this really has created the information revolution. And so there it is. There's, there's, there's so much of it, and we've created it. And what does it mean? What is its relationship to us, and how does it work? And where did all this stuff come from anyway? Well, those are questions that I explore in the book why it is that stuff really matters.